It was like massive comfort picks and Fnatic. They will go yeah. for the Pike Karma bot lane. I am excited. Expectation. Last week, this time it's G2 doing it. Cap's trying to trade into Whippo, but Whippo's level two already. The Ruthless Predator. That's a lot of damage on Cap. Whippo does not have the ignite, but Cap's is just forced away. Cap's has the flash. The chase. Whippo with first block. You're not mixed. Stobled on by Fnatic. And Broxa hunting here has access to the flash. Remember, it's just a flash body slam to CC duration, and you'll pop Cap's oh, he like can a balloon. Kill him. Kill him. Cap shows oh. against the kill. The box is here against his former teammate. Broxa will get the second kill for Fnatic. One. The biggest thing is look at Wanda's health and mana and look at Hillisang. Boxer still has flash, Hillisang on his way. Wanda has a flash of his own, dodging around, but there's the body slam, the CC chain! Nemesis. Nemesis still has the ultimate if he wants to join this fight. Cap's just dodging around as much as he can, surviving for as long as he can. But you have to think Whipper will get there with the chase that Shroud used. Cap's still dodging away, the belly bot comes out, and eventually Cap's will fall, gifted over to Whippo. 4-1 on the scoreboard. Roxa going over the wall into the Baron pit and just waiting as Wonder goes in. <laughs> Roxa's in the perfect position every moment. Wonder tries to turn it back onto Nemesis, but Nemesis flashes away. Roxa brings down the cask onto the head. Of it's very scary. Caps are definitely playing with fire right now because Whippo has the Yankos. Yankos is on his way up. Roxa's here as it's well. Still in the wings. Has the flash. There's the ultimate. Caps looking for the chase, but is Yankos going to be able to do enough? Whippo heals up, flashes away, and Caps is down. This is personal from Fnatic. Once again, Caps is dead. Four times. Another play on the other side. You know what it is? He sees Caps in the game. He's like, I know what to do. I cap Caps. <laughs> That's what I do. I just show up in his lane. Well, this one looks personal for sure. Oh, wonder. 15 minutes now. Whipper up towards the top lane. He's going to get ganked by Yankos. Wonder on the chase here. Some will land with a flawless duet. You can see. Whippo's just gonna fall. This is great stuff from G2. Whippo's still alive, and here comes Nemesis. Trying to catch on to Wonder, but Wonder goes into the bush, out of vision, and here comes Cap. Oh, Chasing him all the way from mid lane. <laughs> you can take my position, but I will take your life. Caps, that was awesome. <laughs> he lands the E just as Nemesis teleports in. And you can see Reckless and Hillisang getting chased out by Caps and Yankos. The undertow will connect as Yankos looks for the chase. Hillisang trying to dodge away, can't land the stun because of the Ragnarok. Caps still jumping in. Teleport behind them, though, as Fnatic wants to take the fight. Teleport was cancelled out as Whippo stunned up with a flawless dread in the top lane. But Here's that means Broxa. Broxa can look for the gank. Wonder underneath the tower trying to dodge away. Flashes early. Broxa's still there. The slice and dice from Whippo will chase him under the tower. And there's another kill for Fnatic. Hinosei missed the death from below as the X didn't mark the spot of Yankos' demise. But Fnatic are still putting their foot on the accelerator. But this is Renekton still getting so many of these plates in the top lane. Whippo is very strong right now. Has completed Black Cleaver. And now he's going to be unlocked as he takes down this turret. Fnatic, don't slow down, even though G2 are trying to answer the aggression and wonder, he's got to be regretting that interrupt of the teleport right now, but alt in the middle lane, but it's not actually allowing G2 to gain any... Oh! God! There's no way you should be able to hit that! Cap's still able to get away, but Hillisang on the chase couldn't quite land the tier man. Hillisang, he's buying for the best pike in Europe. Cap's strong! Oh, no way! There's no way! Damaged off! Rift held here, used by Broxo in the mid lane. He has had such a good early game. Took the Infernal, looking for this as well. The final chapter comes out from Mickey, but just to force Fnatic off. The mid lane tower does not fall, always so important. So we've got to take stock. Ultimately, Fnatic still in control of the game. They have a very healthy gold lead. Wonder, no flash, he's going to die. Oh, the stun card lands. The X comes down, and Hillisang, second kill. tower down. Renekton is now moving around, and now they've found Yankos. Yeah, Hillisang has to, uh, Yankos has to burn his out, but Hillisang, his life is forfeit. Yeah, I know, but they need to. <laughs> Look at the itemization. Fine. Just notice the difference between Whippo Nemesis and Wonder and Caps. Props to Yankos, even though Fnatic have full control, and they're the ones that get to dictate a lot of the plays around the map. What's important for G2 is, as you say, Frost, they buy time and get their solo laners back and relevant in the game. And it is a perfect example of that right there, the fact that they were able to trade objectives. You know, Wonder getting all of that free time up in the top lane does take down that top lane tower. Bot, though, is oh, dead. Yeah, Whippo just kills Cap in the bot lane. That was Broxa lending a helping hand, and Caps has died six times this game. There's the final chapter used in the mid lane, trying to stun up Hillisang, gets the hook onto Wonder, pulls him back underneath the tower, death marks the spot, but it's not enough damage as Hillisang just has to run away. Nemesis now caught out by Yankos, has to flash the wall. Hillisang trying to clear out the wave as much as he can, because here's Broxa, the knockback on Wonder, but Wonder dodging around with the Vanguard's edge and back in. Two kills to Fnatic, with on the chase here as well, as the battle rages in the, G in the Fnatic jungle. Whipple coming in, Yankos trying to get onto Nemesis perks, almost dying off towards the top side as he will go down. 
Wonder dies. Yankos dies. I think they have some physical as well. Hillersang jumps across the wall. That's greedy. The final chapter comes out. We'll boot him up, but he's invisible at the moment. Gets taken out by Cats. Broxer now in the front line as Cats just dodges forward. Mickey healing him up, but he tries to dodge away. He's rooted in place. Stunned up by Whippo. Broxer jumps the wall now, knocks Perks back, but they can't quite find the connection. And Fnatic's just pushing forward their line here. Wonder slowed up with the red card. Ultimately, a one-for-one one between the two teams, but Fnatic are the ones that have priority right now. They have a minion wave alive. That tower is very low. Can be a little difficult to see. Whippo Whippo just dies. flashes in and takes out Perks! Kills him with the ruthless predator and Fnatic are hungry for blood. They're on the hunt. Destiny comes out from Nemesis, chasing onto Cavs. He took his spot. He'll take his life. Fnatic are destroying G2. It is a solo queue game. That Renekton is 9 2 and 2 at 19 minutes in this game. He has Black Weaver and Spear. Stakes in this game. And in short, it is full steam ahead for Fnatic, is yes. what it feels like. Or it's game over. Second Infernal of the game. Hillersang straight on to Perks, gets the slow. Perks will try and jump away. Hillersang almost out. There's the Destiny in and the Teleport as well. Fnatic won the fight. Perks is dumped. Second kill as well. Follows up. Reckless takes down Mickey. Yankos trying to get away, but the gold card is locked in. And there's laser sights on Yankos. Fnatic get three. Caps on the backside. Rip G2 apart in this best of one. G2 have been miraculous in the past, but at the moment... Fnatic have three times as many kills as them. They have an 11th this early game. It's phenomenal. And a lot of that falls on the back of Broxer as well. There were question marks in the offseason as to whether he would be the starting jungler with Dan coming into the team. But he has shown us across the last three splits that he is still one of the best, if not the best jungler in the LEC right now. He set his team up for success so well. He was all over the map in the early game and he's pushed G2 back so well. And now we see the classic Hillisang split push with the Baron. He does this when he's on support. Now he's one of the big carries. He's generating so much pressure as Fnatic split up the map. He's got the team mat. He he has the mobility, he has the Baron buff, like you said, he can sit there and then very quickly collapse to his team if need be. Inhibitor Tower gonna fall here in the bottom lane. 23 minutes in, G2's base is broken. The inhibitor short to follow, you have to feel, and G2 unaware of how to defend here. They're looking at keeping their players around mid. Fnatic take down the inhibitor, 24 minutes in. They have broken open all into here. I'll hold it because maybe they do. There comes the destiny. Perks flashing wave caught in the stun card and the follow-up. Just deliver the kills to Fnatic. Caps trying to dodge around here, but Hillisang's on the chase. The stun card connects, and now Mickey is fed to the wolves. I mean, Fnatic take a third kill. They basically opened up their mouth and Broxy said, here comes the airplane, and just spoon-fed it in. Fnatic dominated the early game. They ripped through the solo laners of G2, and they are looking to establish themselves as the current best team in the LEC. Uh, Caps said G2 wanted the 18-0. Fnatic said not today. The Nexus Tower falls. Wonder trying to do what he can to defend it. He's down now. It's only Yankos left alive. And no one can survive versus this Fnatic team. They're on to the Nexus. Yankos and Perks trying to defend. And still oh, alive. They, they get the kill. With throw down. It's all on Perks. Needs to get the damage in. It's Nemesis and Reckless. Teleport coming behind them now as Perks goes in. Mickey stepping forward. Reckless so low. The Nexus not going to fall. And Cavs has the flank. G2, the base defense holds once more, but Caps almost gets clapped by his former teammate. He's almost going down to the minions. Perks dodging around, Boxer goes gold at the moment. Can't quite get the kill on Perks. G2 able to survive for the time being. But that said, they lose their mid. It's just the last mid in him standing. No Nexus towers underneath them to get into a back door for the Nexus. Well, Hillisang's going for it. Gold lead. Hillisang going for it. As you say, the Destiny comes in as well. And Nemesis is there on the is. Nexus. Looking for the win here. Fnatic due to G2. What G2 have done so many times before. They